Ladies and gentlemen, is it still worth to get the Raiden Shogun? While there are so many other different characters, especially the new Natlan characters coming out in Genshin Impact. Now we know Genshin Impact 5.1 is going to have Shilonen and she is seemingly going to be a great support character as well as a damage dealing slash healer slash I don't know what she is at this point. But she's going to be a great character in general. Now that we have the release of Natlan, we see more and more reason to use the night soul blessing stuff especially for just running around and stuff it is a fun mechanic now raiden shogun is currently in the banner with kenich and i still have to say you raiden shogun is still a very good character excellent in fact in so many ways not only is it because she's electro but she also provides a lot thanks to her talent and a big thing with the Raiden Shogun is because you have these talents you get energy regeneration off the wazoo and you just deal so so much damage not only that but she excels in sub DPS which I really enjoy with this Nivlet team that you guys see on the right side um yeah it's it's a lot and not to mention this is i don't know how many reruns raiden has had already but she has a lot so you can go for constellations especially constellation 2 making raiden shogun's burst so powerful thanks to the 60 percent decrease or ignoring of defense which is super awesome i still think the raiden shogun is a character that you can go for even though it's i don't know 2024 and there's so many of these new characters i still think she is worth it i still use the Ryan shogun in a lot of my teams that need electro characters and i definitely think she has a place i do think that i know they're going to release more characters within that land but that is the thing Raiden Shogun is a character that is very universal. She does need to be an Inazuma to be really, really good. She is just powerful and really easy to build. A Raiden Shogun build, I don't have the best one personally because I still use the Skyward Spine just because it's kind of just easy to slap on her. And I'm not one for grinding the fishing um, to get the R5 of the uh, catch and I know it's a really good weapon and it's an excellent weapon for the Raiden Shogun. Generally can't be bothered with that. So I'm just using Skyward Spine. It's fine. It works for me. Um, artifacts, Emblem Sever Fate. I don't think I have the greatest artifacts of all time. These are my current ratios. It's not the worst thing of all time, but it definitely could be better, especially because of this. I have yet to get an energy recharge sands that is worthy. Do not have another energy recharge sands in any capacity good enough for to use i don't have any crit stats on this i barely have an attack percentage stats on it and yeah i just yeah i'm still looking for one in any case um the other ones are pretty decent i i I'd like to say they're pretty decent so yeah there's that and then the constellations are c0 talents at six nine and ten generally her normal attacks don't do much so definitely keep that one even but I have mine at 6 just because I wanted to. And then this is a massive, massive talent to go for. I would personally crown this. But I just I don't I just don't want to. But it is worth the crown. Because if you level it up, you guys can see that you get a little bit more on your coordinated skill damage. Which is what you want. Which is pretty important. And then the burst which uh, lies a lot of her damage as well. Which is very, very important. And you also get the energy restoration from this. But I don't think if you upgrade it, you get more. But you do get more resolve stacks that you gain. Which is very important. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Her other stuff just allows her to give greater energy restoration. As well as electro damage bonus for herself. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the build. I don't think it's that bad, but it's not the greatest. I think she is an excellent, excellent character to go for, especially even if you want constellations. Now, her teams are plenty. You can go with Raiden with the quote unquote national team with Shangling, Xingqiu, Kazaha, right? You can use Bennett. You can use whoever you want. She has so many options that it is just absolutely amazing. 
Now, you do have other characters that do something similar, but you don't have characters that provide the energy recharge that she can. And that is where her value lies. And that is where she, you know, comes into play. There are sub DPS characters that can be as good. You know, you can have Fischl, you can have uh, Beto's Burst, you can have whoever. But this is just so universal. It's so good. It allows you to get stronger bursts it's just she does so much and i definitely think she is worth going for um even when kinich is on the banner i mean i personally went for kinich i have kinich and he is a very fun character now would i say go for kinich over raiden i don't think i would i'd make an argument that raiden shogun is way more worth than Kenich. In fact, I think it's quite the easy argument to make. She's so universal. She, you can put her on any team. She'll be absolutely amazing. In fact, you can put her on a Kenich team and she'll be pretty good. It's just that I don't think I'd pick any DPS over Raiden Shogun. And that is as simple as that. Now, Shilonen, now that's a different story. Shilonen is going to be a new character. It has elemental resistance decrees, it has a bunch of stuff, and I definitely think she has a place and might, you know, rival quote unquote Kazaha, right? But I do think that, uh, yeah, I, I think she's still pretty good. So, would I pick the Raiden Shogun over Shilonen? The answer is uh, yet to be decided, I think. But in any case, since she is on the banner, I'd personally go for her if I don't have her. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think the Biden Shogun is still a character worthy of your Prima Gems in, I mean, this late into Genshin, I guess? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.